now. It is an epidemic you probably heard about, maybe even one you've fallen victim to. We're talking about the theft of catalytic converters all across our valley. Yeah, they are pieces of your car that thieves want to get their hands on. And tonight, the 8 News Now I team exposing what's making these cases really difficult to solve. The I team's David Charns with a simple solution that could help police and stop the stealing. Mechanics at Universal Motor Cars see a lot of vehicles. Most of them I saw them without catalytic converters. Victor Botnari is showing yeah, us a car with um, its catalytic it converter. Everything. It's cleaning the exhaust. The metal tubes don't look like anything special, but inside they're packed with precious metals. That makes them a target for thieves. It's a, a phenomenon right now. That phenomenon, an explosion of catalytic converter thefts right from under our noses, or in this case, under our cars. Thieves cutting them out in a matter of seconds. Lieutenant Joe Lepore is with Metro Police. How are these people making money from what they're stealing? One way is through scrap yards. There's also a big black market. Metro Police say they responded to more than 1,900 catalytic converter calls last year. Each call could be for one converter or several. 98 of those calls are closed. That's 5% where there's an arrest or citation. The big problem seems to be that the catalytic converters can't be identified, right? Correct. And that's one thing that does hamstring us quite a bit. The parts themselves have no identifier, no way to tie them back to their home vehicle, and most importantly, its owner. It makes it much more difficult to prove that case. Police say the red flags are repeat offenders or someone who comes in trying to pawn off more than one at a time. It's a Thursday afternoon in Las Vegas. We're following along as I-Team photojournalist Matt Adams is attempting to sell an aftermarket catalytic converter from a junk car. His first scrapyard turned him away. They don't accept them anymore. But on his second try, we learned selling one sometimes isn't so easy. Oh, Our yeah. sale goes by the book. Which car is yours? Our photojournalist had to show his ID. Uh, even get fingerprinted. And it'll be your right index finger. All for twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Twenty-two fifty. That's it. Yeah. This shop going above and beyond yeah, what's required. There's no law on the books right now that prevents this. However, there are scrap yards that do work with us, and will report to us if they get people that come in constantly to bring in catalytic converters. The I-Team asked some of the most popular car companies if they would consider adding identifiers to catalytic converters on the cars they make. A spokesperson for Toyota said new laws are the answer at, quote, eliminating the market for these stolen parts. A Honda spokesperson said they strive to enhance their vehicles, including security. How much is on the scrap yards for buying them? But that's just an internal policy. That's nothing... There's no law to stop that right now. This business doing everything police could wish for, but there is no mandatory reporting in Clark County or Nevada. Well, that would be a game changer for our investigations because we would, able, we would be able to tie that specific catalytic converter to a specific report to a specific victim. Back at the shop, that's something Botnari says is a no-brainer. If there are serial numbers that would match with the VIN number, probably way easier to find. Well, no car company we heard from said it would consider adding an identifier. The Alliance for Automotive Innovation told us it is working with policymakers and police to increase awareness and deter this criminal activity. Several states are passing laws to curb these thefts by requiring paper trails or banning cash transactions, among other measures. I'm David Charns, live, local, now.